just gotta explore the you world. You wanted to beat the game so bad, you beat it. <laughs> now the world's on you. And that's how I'ma present the game. Like, don't, don't, don't try to beat this motherfucker so quick, cause it's it's a hundred ways to beat it. You might get five credits on your shit. You might, you might do a sequence of this nigga and be like, damn, the credits popping up again. Uh, yup, it's a new chapter. This game is England, and we gonna update it. We updating story shit, cutscene shit for the online and shit. You can play with your niggas too, yup. Yeah? You and your niggas about to have to walk in the drug deal. It's gonna be different experiences too. We gonna work hard on it, like spend money on it. We ain't gonna cut no corners because we wanna play this shit too. <laughs> we want to see what's about to happen too. Like, hold on, that dude, I, that dude, I uh, know you get like this. Doctor Disrespect trying to come out with his own game. Uh, he started a game studio, or something like that. But, uh, that's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. Invest your money into the into what put you on for real. Especially the gaming culture, we need it. These motherfucking gaming people don't play their game like how we play it. We find all types of shit in their games that they probably be like, damn. Exactly. And that's what's so unique about the gaming community because it's like the they work hard on it. It's just like other shit gets told, this gets told, and like probably something else. Like, like small but their minds, like they don't. It seems like these game creators don't play other games. It's like just like the music industry. Like they don't listen to other niggas' music. It's like these niggas don't be playing other games. They just see how good another game is or something. They think this has a good idea. You gotta play that shit. Like you gotta steal these ideas because it's the same. It's the I mean, same community. They I mean, say yeah, they say hip hop. I mean, Everybody. It's not like they not playing their own game, but at the same time, it's just like some of the shit just sounds bad. You feel me? Like some games don't. But you can't be like in the gaming community. In the gaming community, you can't be like, oh, they stole the way we do this. Like, nah, nigga, you did this, so that made the gaming community better. Honestly, because now every game can have this in it. Like battle royale, every game thinks that they just need a battle royale, but it's like, nah, you just gotta stick to what you do best. Honestly, because your fan base gonna fuck with your game, but it's like you gotta just incorporate shit that makes your game better, honestly. Because you see Absolver, the company that makes that shit, they're sticking to that fighting shit. And the shit looking great. Because ain't nobody doing it like that. Like the, the Uncharted of the world, they're the only ones that put the the effort in a melee like okay we got the up close and personal now nah, we gotta have a unique because games are games are yeah, just focusing on the cinematic on charge just that gotta look cinematic you know but, uh, that too but naughty dog period they just make their games cinematic like movie-ish like their stories be good as hell. The gameplay be almost like a fucking story. And it's like, that's what they do best though. The cinematic of it, even though all line was cinematic with like how on Uncharted 3, you break a nigga neck. That was cinematic because he see it too. He see you breaking his neck on, in a cutscene fake way. Like, ooh. You can't do nothing about it. You can't press X to get out of it. It happened so quick. It's like, like, oh, this nigga like stab my shit. Man, no, for real. That's what made their game unique. <laughs> the cutscene of it, because you know how like Call of Duty and in these first person games got the little cutscene, but that shit kind of super cutscene. But then you got games like uh, Heavy Rain. You know, like Heavy Rain, a church for coming. You make, you make a quick time events. But they don't do But see, look. Hey, but with first game. person, though, I feel like with first person, they got to keep it first person. Don't just cinematically cut it to you and him seeing both of y'all doing shit. It should be like the first person nigga seeing him in first person. Like when you caught a nigga slipping, you should see you in, with the hands slicing this nigga head. And he should just see first person him getting sliced up type shit. Like how uncharted is. You see the nigga come behind you, break your neck. 
but it's in third person. It's not like it's it just go to a blank screen. It go to like a one second black screen and he come out of nowhere and it's like he pop you in the head or something. It's not like that. That's how Call of Duties is. They go to a quick little black screen and it show like the cinematic version of him catching you slipping. And it's like, nah, it should be quick. It should be like, I caught this nigga, so I stabbed him in his head and he saw it. Like, damn, he caught me slipping. <laughs> like, fuck, all right. With the online though, because that 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 makes it more cinematic with the players, because it's happening so quick. It's like when you pull a nigga down, he see you. He, all he see is his player getting dragged down, but he see you pulling him. <laughs> no, like maybe the adjustments they made for was was okay, but like uh, just like okay. Adding, but that's adding, because they lost meeting, their studio. Like, adding, like j- jumping off the uh, <laughs> jumping off the top rope when they like man. That shit was hella Facts. Cool. Like, I did that like shit that. That was cool. Like, that and shit. the One Piece. Man, the, oh yeah, the uh, one, the one hit. <laughs> yeah, the that was one. decent. I just didn't like the hand-to-hand combat. Like, when you press square on a nigga up close, I didn't like that. Because it wasn't cinematic. Like, when you when you knocked him out, it wasn't cinematic. Like, how Uncharted was. If you, if you shoot a nigga real quick and then press square and hit him on his last little life, he would do, like, a Superman punch. Or he'd hit that nigga with the ass of the gun. Or do some shit like that. Slide under him and hit him like that. In the nuts. <laughs> Man, yeah. Nah, for real. Like, I, mean, I do more That's what I'm like saying. What, what killed him? Yeah, to it's me. like, that's what, what made killed, Uncharted what so him unique. Him was uh when they added sidekicks in the online I'm like no bro like that's add more people bullshit to, yes add more people to the less mm-hmm. yes less cpus in uh, in online less like, cpu bro, and I more of a teammates. what the fuck i got a fa- bro they come on now we don't want bots i hate it how like every time i had to uh i had somebody uh, like on the ropes and i was about to kill them and then i get choked up like, come on, bro. Right. <laughs> I get choked up by some nigga and he saves them, bro. Or like, that's uh, like some co op shit. Like, yeah. I, I don't like that because that's like co op. Like, that's more fun for co op. Like, having CPU is only fun when you on the same team as your niggas only type yeah. shit. Yeah, no, but another thing, another thing was basically. Uh, and that's how. Uh, and I don't see how they don't make the co ops in games better because it's all that's all you have to focus on is. The, the player advantages versus the computer advantages. Exactly. And that's not hard to to get the get the better of because it's like all you gotta do is make your computer do this much and you feel me do it differently like this and you feel me make it very like uh what they call that? Uh fucking uh, unpredictable. Like make it unpredictable so you feel me a nigga don't get too used to shit in game. Cause you know games get repetitive after a while. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm like, they say that's why like they say some single player games is done. I'm like, no, single player games ain't done. No, they're still that's here. That's the most. That's you, the I'm look. Like, single player games have the least amount of repetitive. See, cause they can like do everything based off the engine they working with. In yeah. online, you only got so much to do because yeah. you gotta make it. You gotta balance shit. I think the last multiplayer game that one game of the year was Overwatch. <laughs> Everything else is single player. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Like, fucking, uh, uh, it takes two. It was a co op game, though. Like, it was a co op game. Like, co op game. I'm like, co op game is not dead. Single <laughs> players are player, they're player interactive. And that's what that means. And what that means is the player has the most control over this game than anything. And it feels like with online games, the, the system has the control. Cause it's like my if my Wi-Fi fucking up and shit, I'm 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 ass. Man. And it's like if the world, if this shit ain't right in the world, like if your shit glitchy or you know if the online ain't right, it's not gonna make the game. It's gonna make the game more sucky. Hey, the truth. Like if your online ain't compatible with what the players want, it's gonna be ass. But your your single player don't have to be what the players want. It can be just off your your uh, imagination and your you feel me artistic abilities. And people gonna fuck with it just like a game like uh, what's that weird ass game uh, Death Stranding. Yeah, no, people fuck with it, but not a lot of people fuck with it. Like, and even, it but it, look, it's a con- but that's a controversial game just because of their artistic style. 
and see like a game like uh what's that monkey nigga? Uh Wu 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 Kong. What's Wu Kong? Yeah. And that's an artistic style type fighting game. Some people might not like it, but it's so artistic that it fits the gaming community. Because our gaming is all about your artistic style. You feel me? It's all about the colors and the graphics. And you feel me? The the shit that pops with your eyes. But when you play the game, you feel me? That's when your gamer instinct comes in. Because it's gonna be per- it's gonna be preference. It's gonna be what you like about games. And you feel me? Shit like that. You can, as a gamer, as a gamer and a game creator, you can fit that criteria because it's like if you play games, you're gonna know what niggas want. Like, oh, niggas gonna want, niggas gonna need a jump button, a climb button, a little interactive open door button, shit like that. Like, niggas like shit like that. You know what I was thinking the other day? I was thinking somebody need to like take what Dev Jam did, like Dev Jam Pop in New York did, like take that. I want, I want, like, not the same right. thing, but, like, the look, mechanics and how, how they fought and just make a whole bunch of new what? characters. With Def Jam? Call it Def Jam. With, Cause you know, with Def Jam, that was a platform fighting game. And that shit probably was one of the best. Like, it was in the same category as, like, a Tekken or a Motor Combat. In the Black Moon. Just a little sure, more right? dynamics. But, like, they a little, will, they a little more it. dynamics. They will take that. But, like, in the Black Moon, for sure, we fucked with it. That was, like, for, for sure. But, because, look, in the dynamics, the camera was more 360, but it's still you fighting on a platform. You fighting where you can't get at. It's not like a Dragon Ball Z where the environment is just open and you can travel and you don't even have to fight if you don't want to. You could just stand there roam around nah Def Jam was like a, a closed off space where you only had this much space yeah they added incorporated weapons and like grappling and this and that but it's still it's like a my friend Pedro for the platform fighting games yeah like it, cause you, still cause you had, see how my uh, friend Pedro for still, like, like a had contra, the, uh, it was the, the 3D platform uh, you feel me you had like a 2D right. and a 3D like you'll you'll be able to move around like how exactly. like a like a Mario like a, like a Mario, Mario. Cause Mario is a platform game because it's objective. It's like you jump here, you no, you go here, but, but I said, I said you they only got so like much they, space. Like like uh, it was like Mortal Kombat Armageddon's camera in a way, but like pretty much just stayed right but there. You see, me. but look, I'm gonna say this because look, fighting games they do all have grab buttons, like where you can do a little grab cutscene and shit like that. So it it, it it took that aspect, but also made it like a wrestling type aspect because they had fighting styles and shit so it was like it made it more dynamic with the fighting thing because it brought all of them it didn't just make it oh kick punch jump duck and all that shit it's like contra look like like how i was saying <laughs> right like how i was saying well, like how i was saying well like my friend pedro it changed the dynamic with shooting uh platform games because look like a game like contra it was just shooting straight in front of you or shooting up or behind you or something like that but my friend pedro made it where you were shooting like diagonally and like on on different object objects and shit like skateboards you can kick niggas and do all type of shit that's how Dev Jam is for the fighting game. Like it changed the, the, it brung all of it. Anything that a platform game had, my friend Pedro tried to put on theirs, and that's exactly what Dev Jam did with the fighting games. They incorporated weapons, and you feel it was more dynamic as far as because you would get lost if you play like a four-player match. You would get lost because there was so many niggas in that space like when you fight sean paul and the quick niggas they'll be running up to you and kicking you and doing all shit you'll get a little lost like oh shit i didn't even know where i was at for a second niggas like fat joe will whoop your ass in that case <laughs> look exactly and see look it was like a smash bros because smash bros is a platform but it gives you a lot of control over the platform it was something like that like an arena platform Cause you see the, the matches, like the subway matches. That's like a platform match, uh, like where it could be oh, for no, a flat the space. Fucking, uh, what's the other one? Almost like that though, like a steel cage type match where it's just almost a platform and you gotta make it out type shit. Everybody, 
And see, these game creators don't get into that because they don't play all types of games like how me and you and you feel me gamers play. That's why they lose. If once this generation get into that field, they're going to lose. And games are going to be way fucking better. In 10 years, games are going to be way fucking better. When you see like a Dr. Disrespect start taking over and getting his own money for these games and shit, not just putting out ass games for his first game or whatever, and he on his fifth game, and he like, nigga, I got the money for it? Like, nah, this, he at, he at like the PlayStation showcase type shit. This Dr. Disrespect showing off his game, that's when it's gonna be like, okay, this Dr. Disrespect game is clean as fuck. But man, he trying to make a shooter out there. No, of course, but that this is his first game. He got to dabble with it because he don't know. He's just a gamer, so he got to get into the knowledge of the of their world. He got to get into their world now. Not for real, because I'm like, I, I never say like making a game easy because it's like, bro, you got to understand. Not you, gotta sound, you got to satisfy uh, millions of people. You got to make sure. Because honestly, they only do they only do what they can do with the budget they got and with the ideas they've already brought to the table. They be working around that because sometimes they can't do they can't do what they you feel me first brought to the table. Like, oh, we're going to do it like this and like this and like this. It'd be like, ah, we can't. We don't have the technology, honestly, to get like this. Or it'd be like we don't have the money or for that when, technology. Like, the power, you got to go off like uh, different aspects because like PC for like a two K, like... like a two K or a EA or something like that. They're gonna invest all, they into the all that. They're gonna be like, okay, exactly. They got the budget, so if it's if it's a shitty game, it's a shitty game. But they put the money into it. Exactly. They just the idea didn't work. But see, like a game like Cyberpunk that had potential, and you know, like it, 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 it drew you in because it it had the ideas you wanted. But they didn't they didn't have a budget because they you feel me they was lacking in time and shit like that. They didn't have the money it, it, for the like, resources. It was delayed. Like a GTA, they don't make you wait six years, nigga. They don't give a fuck. They like nigga, we gonna work on our game. We don't care what y'all talking about, nigga. Y'all gonna fuck with it, and we gonna put it out when we feel like it. Cause we have the money and the budget for everything we're trying to do, type shit. Cause bro, they had it. And that's what it is. Like and that's what it is with the gamer thing. Look, we're players, but we don't understand that they gotta put money, time, ideas, and you feel exactly. me, all that Not type everybody shit. Everybody understands that. And and the right. thing with Cyberpunk, it was like either they was gonna push it back and just to get it right, or and upset a whole bunch of people, or put it out and just like let people just play it. So it was like crunch time. Right. It was real crunch time. Because I feel like their next game they announce might be the idea that they were pushing for for Cyberpunk. Like, it might be exactly what you thought Cyberpunk was going to be, but a totally different game. Because hmm. no, that's exactly how Rockstar played, too. Look, that's why they're holding on to GTA, because they have put so much shit out that they felt like people didn't fuck with when it first came out. Like, because it's all about that deadline when it first come out with them. Cause it ain't about the longevity, like how Bully is. Bully probably didn't sell that much when it first came out, and they probably hide at that. They know it was a good game, and they know they put good time and effort, but they had so many good games like Grand Theft Auto and shit like that that was coming out. Midnight Club and shit that got overlooked. Now, the thing I just don't like about Rockstar is just like, bro, y'all need to come out with a new IP, bro. Like, y'all been make, kind of making the same That's what I'm saying. Years. And look, I'm like, make and that's what I'm saying, though. Know. And that's what I'm saying. They're holding on to what's making them money on release type shit, like Red Dead, GTA, and shit. You feel me? Like they're they're not trying to put something new to people because they 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 want to release what everybody was used to as what made them the company. Not like a naughty dog that's gonna just hey, let's make this game. Hey, we got the money, we got the budget, we we gonna be exclusive, so people are gonna fuck with it regardless type shit. Cause Naughty Dog is that type of company. They've been fucking with PlayStation forever. They ain't never put a game. They probably put a game or two on Xbox that didn't do no, well, the and they the like they every. Did. It's on Xbox. The only one that did that shit. Like, I was like, okay, they made something for Xbox One, and I'm like, man, 
I felt it like we should have got it wasn't I felt like it wasn't greatly praised on the Xbox, but man, because I'm like that shit was actually good. Like cause look, man. with Xbox, Insomniac is a new company for Xbox. So it's like the the core base for Xbox. The people that know studios that fuck with Xbox and they see that fucking Insomniac made a game, they like, eh. Like, but oh, a right, company we'll like Bethesda, but a company that's top like Bethesda that make games for both consoles that just switched over and say, you know what, we're gonna make exclusives for Xbox. They gonna fuck with that because they need it, not like us. Because if something like like a 2K or an EA made a game exclusively for us, they gonna be mad. Like ah, oh, they they got another one, huh? <laughs> Cause Sony is Sony too. They put so much. They got the money. They got the bread to invest in just this, like just this. And that's where you gonna win. Cause Microsoft got their hand in so much shit. They created the internet, basically. They made the first computer that carried internet. So it's like Microsoft was never gonna take over the gaming industry. Nigga, what the fuck? Leave that to Sony. They make movies. They don't got the movie. (laughs) They don't got the movie game on lock. But games are like movies. They're like controllable movie. Yeah. No, it's a great way. They're great storytellers. Besides doing movies and like books on like games, another good way of telling a story. Games are in anything. Games are just another version of reality because they are in everything. They're in hip hop. They're in fucking movies they're in the, they're in the news all type of shit because they're just another version of what we go through it's created much like art just like a, a fucking drawing that makes you feel a certain way games make you feel a certain way especially as a man because you know like we draw into shit that just that takes a lot of that, that just takes a lot of like take you out of this world like we draw on shit like that that'll take sometimes you sometimes you just need some time out to fucking work like like games are just but no the men are just drawn to that something that'll take your mind something that'll take your mind off the life you are living men are drawn to shit like that like cars and shit that you know but here a lot of material shit we draw on the shit like that because we gotta live this life and we we be tired we 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 just want to enjoy ourselves we don't get credit we don't get praised every day so games was something that came out and really took hold on niggas for real like man because it was like hey i can pass the time with this it's making me feel good i'm having (laughs) but then like even when i'm mad i'm having fun i'm probably gonna be wrong but like yeah but no like like, games Games are, and yeah, yeah, it's not even a gender thing, but men picked up on it because it's like, even when you going through something, you having a good time. Like, you dying hella much, but you still can't get off it. Exactly. You'll never do that with a woman or a job or something like that. Like, you not no, having a good games, time, you not about games, to fuck with it. Games personal shit, like, you feel me? And, and it's like games yes. are bad. Actually, the stories like, be de- in depth. Even if it's not a good game, sometimes the stories in games still teach you something. The online in the game, (laughs) the online in the game, still to teach you something. Like, damn, all right, I gotta get better. Like, all right, and that'll teach you about life. Like, I gotta get better. Like, like how you do side missions, you're like, okay, I'm gonna come back to this side mission later, or I gotta have more experience to that shit. You can be like, and look, some people can't play games. Some people can't play games because they don't have the mental capacity to even keep up with it. Like it's too many buttons. Oh, you gotta do this. Oh, this keep happening. Exactly. This like, got, bro, this is a game. Hand, That's how they we made got good it. Good hand eye game. Right. That's that kind. Of, that involves intelligence. That involves your per. That involves your thinking. You just gotta tap into that. Honestly, because games have. I don't say games have been a big one of the most uh, influential things in my life. For real, games. GTA. <laughs> Facts. Games, bro. Right? Get you ready for all that. They get you ready for life. Look, games have taught me more than school. For sure. I will say that. Games have taught me more than school. But look, yeah, you got games like Assassin's Creed, where if you really pay attention to that shit, you will learn some history for real. I played it for the assassinations and all the free roam. I didn't play I didn't play Assassin's Creed for the story too much but you feel me if you was into it like that and played every single Assassin's Creed you would learn some history for real 
because each of those games take place in a place where it, there was some history there. So if you go back and go Google some shit, go read and do that shit, you're going to learn some shit because of Assassin's Creed. And that's crazy. In games, they gonna put that shit in your mind because you're playing it. So if it's a plague, or if it's some, you fight dinosaurs, shit like that, you gonna wanna learn more about that. Man, not for real. You shoot guns and shit, you gonna wanna learn more about that because you're interested in that now because you have control over it. And that's all games, that's what games come into play. But this is, this is good gems. You can do a squad chat out of this. I'm drunk right now.